Listen, I just wanted to thank the both of you for all you've done. Eh, I'm just glad to hear they got your money back. These two are something, huh? Oh, yes. I don't know how I could possibly repay them. Oh, don't worry about it. Besides, those thugs paid our service fee and then some. <laughs> nice of them to eat the cost, huh? Beg your pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. I take it all back. Anyway, what happened to the crooks? If they're smart, they're skipping town. Doubt they'd reopen after how bad we wrecked the place. As for Kosuke, I made sure to tip his college off about his little side business. Should help him rethink his life choices. So I'd say this case is closed. Well, I've sure learned my lesson. It's a scary world out there. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. From now on, I choose the place when meeting boys online. And I should probably change dating apps while I'm at it. That's your big takeaway? Really, Kikuchan. You're laying this all on the app, not the sketchy internet dudes. Oh, I don't think so at all. Plenty of people these days meet their match online. It's true, Kaito-san. Apparently that's a thing now. You see, if you don't seize the opportunity when it knocks, it won't be just the times that leave you behind. Fine, fine. Hear you loud and clear. Saori-san and Hoshino-kun sure are taking their sweet time. Now that you mention it, they should have left the courtroom a while ago. Maybe they stopped for a quickie somewhere. There's nothing between those two. Nothing real, anyway. These old eyes can tell that much. Wisdom comes with age, huh? Damn right it does. And I've got more than you kids on both counts. You talking about Matsugane-san? Yep. The lawyer and the Yakuza. Best of both worlds. Though we came from different backgrounds, we were brothers in arms. Both trying to make it in Kamuracho. You two ought to visit his grave every now and again. We will. That goes without saying. Well, I guess we should get going. I guess so. Thanks for having us on such short notice. Oh, and give the two lovebirds our regards. All rise. The court is prepared to issue its verdict. The sentence for the defendant, Akihiro Ihara, is six months of penal servitude. He's getting prison time for his first offense? Isn't it usually just probation in cases like this? Yes. I'm sure his attitude didn't help the situation. From the start, the evidence was stacked against him, and all he did was deny it. If that will be all, we can proceed with the court's rationale. The defendant may be seated. Hmm? You'd rather hear this standing up? Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. Oh, maybe you hadn't heard that. What? What the hell? What is he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. In that case, make sure you pass this along to the Kanagawa police. They'll want to know that the body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. He deserved to die a thousand times, but he was never even accused of a crime. No, he just went on with his life. The law let him walk. 
An utterly broken system. Order in the court. The defendant shall refrain from making such outbursts. Defense, do you have an explanation for the meaning of this? Uh, Your Honor, we, uh, well... How's that for an honest day's work? <laughs> I just want to go put my feet up in the office. Sounds like a plan. I need to get back to Sugiura, too. He was telling us about a big job. You mean a big job for us? Yeah, down in Yokohama. By the way, Sugiura and Tsukumo? They're detectives now. Those two detectives? A <laughs> Good one, Todd. It... Wait, you serious? <sighs> This game is absolute bullshit. It's like it's designed to eat your money. Yeah, what a fucking scam. Fuck this. I'm beyond pissed. I need to unload on someone's face. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Why don't we go give some asshole a game over? You know I'm always down.
Kaiser-Sau ist. 